Welcome to Lynn's Kitchen today. Well, hello. Good day, everybody. Uh, come on into Lynn's Kitchen. You're welcome. Hi, family. How you doing out there? My ride or dies. Today on Lynn's Kitchen, we are going to prepare my filling for my sweet potato pie. Um, for those who are new, this channel uh, started uh, from uh, the inspiration of my mom and some of the recipes that she used to do for us growing up as kids and my remembrance on uh, being in the kitchen with her and her fixing her favorite dishes for her family. And then it also combines my cooking and what I do now, um, how I can modify some of her recipes or add a little touch of lens and then some of the recipes that I've learned on my own along with other, uh, other, um, other people's um, um, recipes that they share like on YouTube or either I go on uh, Facebook. If I see something that I want to try, I combine it in with Lynn's Kitchen. So if you are here viewing for the first time, we welcome you. We would ask though that you, uh, if you're viewing, that you would hit that like button and that subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you can be informed at the videos that are coming up uh, in the future. And with that, we are going to get started. Now, yesterday I began my journey um, with uh, uh, boiling my potatoes. And I had to stop because you had business to take care of. But the potatoes are fine and in, and they're in a, um, a form of where I can really touch them and they're not too hot. Usually I do them when they're hot. Uh, on this channel, we always make sure we got our gloves and I'm gonna use my gloves today because um, I'm going to be peeling my potatoes by, by hand or pulling the skin off by hand. And also, before we get started, y'all know we love to have our dish water with our bleach and water because I like to prepare and wash my dishes in between time. I don't like a dirty kitchen. I don't like to clean after I've done a lot of cooking. So I do mine, you know, along the way so I won't have such a mess. So with that, we're gonna get started. Okay, so here's my potatoes, and I'm gonna peel them. Just pull the skin off. I'm gonna show you how I prep. Got that there. Let me get my hands, my gloves wiped off a little bit. Okay. Mm. Dry them off and take this off and see how much I have in here. Okay. Get them off. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start off low, uh, mixing my potatoes here. I'm gonna start that. We're gonna just stir it a little bit. Chopped up in there. So I can see how much more I can put in there. Mmm, they smell so good right now, y'all. They smell so good right now, just being a potato with that. Okay. And stop it. Ah, oh, come on down. I'm gonna put a few more in, okay? Growing up, um, I was always grateful for Thanksgiving. But as a grown up now, I know that Thanksgiving is more than just Thanksgiving dinner and Thanksgiving day. 
Um, for me, with the things that I've gone through, uh, especially in the past couple of years, um, I've lost loved ones. I've had loved ones to become sick. I've been sick. There's things happening in this world today. And I take Thanksgiving, not just Thanksgiving Day, but every day is is a time for us to sit and be grateful and, 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 and thankful. We may not have what we want. I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit more. There we go. I'm gonna get this stirred up. see look at that it comes out like this this is how it looks i can't wait to put all the ingredients in here i can't wait to put all the ingredients in here but anyway okay 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 so what i'm going to start off with i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to mix slowly stir slowly i'm going to put three eggs in here Hopefully one at a time. Let's see if it'll work. There's one. We're gonna let that blend. And that's the second one. I'm putting I'm using three eggs in this one. In this batch right here. And that's the third one. Okay, I'm gonna add my milk. I have three cups of milk, but I'm not gonna use all of this. And th three cups of milk adds to two cans of my evaporated milk. Usually I use um, heavy cream, but this time around, the heavy cream was a little bit expensive for me, so I decided to just go ahead and use the evaporated milk because it still makes my pies, you know, creamy like I like them. So we're going to add a little at a time, slowly. Okay, slowly. Okay. Now I might end up adding some, you know, I'm going to add a little bit more. So we are down to okay two just slowly add your stuff in there okay stir it just a little bit more okay I love making sweet potato uh, filling here we go. And usually I make a lot of it because what I do is I store it in freezer bags and I can have it, you know, um, anytime I want to. I can store it in freezer bags um, for Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, in between time. And usually I do this also in the summertime if I want sweet potato pie. I just, you know, I just store it. Okay, we're gonna see how that, there we go. We'll get the sides here. Oh, come on out. Come on down. Oh, come on. Here we go. Oh. Get those sides and make sure you get the bottom. Okay, now it's a little light. It's a little dark enough that we put uh, our ingredients in here. Okay. So. The next thing I'm going to add in here is I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and let this down. We're going to stir it on low and put start adding my and I usually melt my my butter. You can use margarine. Slowly add that. Put that down. Okay. Ha. Ah. Add some vanilla. I'm gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon. Some vanilla in there. 
that and this is pure vanilla that I'm using if I had to use some more I will because we are going to taste it uh, next thing I'm going to put in there is ground um, allspice and I'm going to use a fourth of that in there And let that stir in there. And I also use me a little bit of ground cinnamon. I'm gonna use a, a fourth of that and take this cup off. Put it all mixed up in there. And then I'm gonna use my nutmeg. Half a teaspoon of nutmeg. I love to taste my nutmeg. Put it up a little bit. Put that mixed up in there. It's there. Then I have this called rum. It's from Ducky and it's imitation rum flavor. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I use a teaspoon of that. Ha <laughs> ha! Teaspoon in there. Oh, I'm trying to get it. Teaspoon of that. Okay. That's good. Oh, excuse me. Okay, now it's our sugar. I'm going to start off and I'm going to use two-thirds cup. Two-thirds cup of sugar. Just sprinkle that down in there. Generally, when I'm cooking off camera, I don't use measuring. But I learned, um, I learned from um, some viewers when I started out, the, they wanted measurements. And so I had to break down and say, okay, you're right, I'll do some measurements. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there we go. Oh, you can't do it too much. See how it gets? I don't know what you're coming out. You just want to let it stir like it is. You don't want to mess. Okay, here. Yeah. That's tasting good. I'm gonna put some more gun bag in here. Uh, I'm gonna put a half in there. So already I put a teaspoon and a half. You don't have to use all of these, I don't know. This is how I make mine. Again, I always say have fun with your cooking. And just let that stir down a little bit. There we go. Yes. Oh, and like I was saying, um, get this off the side. Well, I'm gonna cut it off because I like to get mine off the side without it. I don't want stuff to be flying all over the place. Like I was saying about Thanksgiving, um, I love to have Thanksgiving for the things that I've gone through. For me, um, Thanksgiving is more than a, than a dinner or a day. Um, you sit back and you see your life and you should be grateful and thankful. I mean, we don't always have good days. Life happens. I always say that, that life will happen. Um, happened to me. Won't be the first time. We go through so many circumstances and situations and people want to give up, but don't give up. You know, you do have something to be grateful and thankful for. Um, you know, I'm just learning that God's grace is sufficient. The times that I was down here sick and everything, um, hmm. when I was sick, uh, I could only think about how good God had been to me. 
And sometimes, you know, most times we go through things in order to keep us humble. Um, and we don't understand sometimes why. And I think a lot of people, um, they get offended or they get upset, you know, about, you know, why they have to go through this and ask the question why. And, you know, you want to think that it's a mean thing. And if, if there's a God and he's supposed to love you, why did these things happen? Um, I'm just going to tell you to go and read Genesis. Read the beginning of Genesis when, when, we, when, man, when, we, when we fell into sin. Um, and, and falling into sin, things had to be held accountable. And so we are a fallen human being. I'm not trying to preach to you. I'm just telling you the word of God. I'm just telling you why it's there. Um, we are uh, creatures of habit and creatures of, of uh, you know, we, we, we inherited a, a, a sin upon us and stuff. And so we, it's not God's fault. He gives us choice. So when things happen to us, we are human and our feelings, our flesh, it rises up. And we feel like, you know, things are done to us. Things are done unjustly a lot of times and unfairly. But if you are enduring anything, and I'm going to tell you throughout, if you're enduring anything, anything, um, the only thing I can tell you is to trust how you can endure it. I'm telling you, I'm a living witness to it, and, and I've had many people out there are a living witness to how good I got. I got my little fork. I'm gonna taste it. It's missing something. Maybe I put a little bit more vanilla in there. Just a little bit more vanilla. I had to put a little bit more butter in there. Uh, a little bit more spice, and I'm gonna put a little bit more sugar in there. Just a, there we go. Not that much of that. Um, but yeah, don't. It's hard to be grateful when you are going through. I understand it. I've been there. I've done that. But find something. I'm going to do a fork of a cup. I'm going to put a fork of a cup. Just find something. Remember something in your life. You know, sometimes when I'm really down, I think about my grandchildren. I look at my children. I, I look at the blessing of family. You know, I've got, I've got it's, uh, seven more siblings, more eight more siblings in my life. Um, and there are a lot of times we don't always agree on things. We don't always feel the same way. But my love for my family will never change. And my gratefulness to God will never change because I do have family. I, I have sisters, I have brothers. You know, God has given me other sisters and brothers. He's given me my viewers. I have much to be thankful for. You know, you can see the good every day. It's just not Thanksgiving, but every day is Thanksgiving in my heart. And I just wanted to share that with you. You can have Thanksgiving every day, no matter what goes on in your life. Because every day that you wake up, that's God's grace and His love for you. And He has a purpose for you. And so it's in His due time that God will move. He hears your prayers. But we've got to start learning how to be grateful and thankful that we have a God that does care. It doesn't mean that because you're suffering anything that God does not care. Yes, he does, you know. And I want you to know that God cares, you know. And take it more personal. If you can, just take it more personal, you know. He loves us and I'm grateful for his love. And so even when I'm having bad days, you know, I'm not days on the go, you know, I can start out really great. And then boom, life happens or a situation will come in the way, you know. And I'm not saying you have to think like me. We all we all have certain times and, and we all are at certain levels. And I'm just telling you that I love you enough 
to tell you that Thanksgiving is every day, all day long, not just on a certain day. We give thanks each day. Just waking up in the morning, being able, when your eyes are opened up, that's the love of Jesus Christ. Not saying that when 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 you when you pass, that's not the love of Jesus Christ and how we do. We're not talking all of that. I'm just saying. Just be grateful. Look around. Find something good in the day. Find something good in other people that'll make you be grateful. You know, that you had one more day to see God's splendor, to see His goodness. Even if you don't see it in something happening in you, try to see it in something happening in somebody else. Or take advantage of looking at the sunshine. That's why I went outside this today. It's so beautiful. I just I just was grateful. I'm just grateful I'm able to see what I saw and I'm able to feel what I feel while I'm yet here. And that's all I'm saying. Okay? So I love you and I hope it wasn't too much for you, but you know what? That's just, that's what, that's, that is what's in my heart today. To share th what Thanksgiving is. Truly. Thanksgiving is giving honor and appreciating and respecting God for every day all day long okay so we're letting this i'm gonna let this do this and stir this up and i think i'm gonna taste it again and again don't do like i did usually i have a little taste spoon here i'm glad i had my fork and i'm gonna get my taste spoons and the forks okay ah uh, where you at here you at you okay so i truly i try to have these Okay. Now it's smelling good, y'all. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Woohoo. And this is what I want. This consistency is what I want right here. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Oh, my goodness. Come on off. So I get this made up and I put it in my freezer bags and I freeze it and so then I can take it out uh, either that morning and let it thaw out and have my pies cooking. Um, if I want to do a cake, it's the same thing. I can I can do my cake, start that that morning while, while these are cooking, you know, while my pies are cooking. And get that out the way. I usually take, you know, if I'm gonna do my meat, I, if I already clean it and I've already seasoned it, so the seasons have went through it, and I take that out and let that thaw. And then I pick the perfect time when it's time for me to cook over in the evening time. I start cooking, um, you know, and I'm not up all night. And then I, and if I, the lightest thing I think I can cook the uh, Thanksgiving day. I prepare my, um, um, I just cook my, um, what do I cook? I cook my greens that morning and I do my, I do my dressing. So I'm all ready, you know. Meat is prepared. Okay. Yeah, I want this consistency in mine. So that's how I want mine. Okay. So we're going to be back. And we're going to finish off the rest of them when I come back, okay? So stay tuned, all right? Hey, guys, and we are back. And like I told you, I was clean up. It's just a lot different, right? So we're gonna just add this mixture with this and we're gonna, we're gonna mix it all together. Yes, look how much I got. That's a lot. And this is what I go through. But it, it's a joy to me because I don't have all of that, you know, prep work and stuff to do. 
uh, and trying to cook at the same time. It is, I'm telling you, I watch a lot of videos with the people like prepping their meals uh, for the week and stuff like that. And I think it's a wonderful thing. It's a, it's a good idea to do it with that. And I'm just gonna combine this. And there are the freezer bags. And let me get my pencil. I mean, my little, uh, where is she at? I didn't used to do this, but sometimes I'll do it to some of my bags and sometimes I won't. It all depends on how I'm feeling. So today I want to be correct, so I'm going to write one here. Contents is sweet. Sweet potato filling. I'm gonna see how many of these that I can. I don't fill them all the way up, but I fill them just enough because I let the air out of them and then I let them lay flat, okay? So here we go. This can be a messy job at times, guys. But I just take my, you know, So this one bag should make two pie fillings right there. Should make two. Should be able to fill two pies. Yeah, two pie fillings. Two pie crusts, rather. I'll just take these and put these in my freezer and I'll lay them like that so that I, like I said so I can have so I can have room and so that's that's from making um yeah that's from making potatoes that we made you can do less you can do more it's up to you most people go out now buy the patty the patty uh sweet potato pies but I like real sweet potato pies and got uh, nothing against patty but I just like to make my own. So, if you have watched this video up until now, won't you please come and join our family by liking, hit, hitting that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. We are happy to have you. We invite you to make this family even bigger. Share these videos, and please give me your comments, because um, I would love to hear from you. Give me your comments and some of your ideas, okay? We're not too proud here on Lynn's Kitchen. Again, we love you. And we say thank you. And till next time, this is Lynn's Kitchen saying bye-bye for now. I will see you later, guys. Bye.